totally yeah, different mood, different. but I love it just as well. I hate those reviews that are going to say, if you like the right stuff, you'll like yeah. Apollo 13. That no, it's not the same. Very movie. different. Okay. Did you guys have to kind of just tell Mr. Wonderful how lovely he was every morning? Did you have to say hello, Tom, and be real nice? Oh, I thought you meant Ron. Yeah, we <laughs> did kind of had to bow down to Ron every <laughs> yeah. now and then. But you don't want to offend yeah, Mr. We used to wait outside the Airstream and sit there just waiting to pay homage. How are you, Mr. I, I Hanks? You're doing well, Mr. Hanks. That's right. Yeah. They could come in every now and again. I'd give them some soda pop and ask them uh, how the kids are doing. Hey, oh. Mr. Hanks. Hey, Mr. Hanks. <laughs> you didn't do any gump jokes to him, did you? Like give uh, him a box of chocolates or anything like that? No, he had River Wild come out while we were doing the movie. So uh, we pulled uh, Psycho Killer, a stalker yeah. that's on Kevin. Yeah. And he was the Psycho Killer indeed in that one. You were very believable, almost too believable, Kevin. Thank you. It's his alter ego. And Bill was out running around with Schwarzenegger. So you guys have had a great year. So. We all rented right. Bill's uh, movies on video so it could be up on his career. Uh, <laughs> the dark my night. obscure, my obscure and <laughs> strange career. Are these astronauts that were the real guys? Were they crazier, smarter, and braver than all of us? No, no, no. They were probably more disciplined than all of us. Mm. They, they, they had more desire. They had. Better... They're pretty smart, though. Oh well, yeah. They're pretty smart. I mean, you know, the, the thing is that they combine a lot of, they combine a lot of really great talents in one person. There's a lot of athleticism in this. Athleticism. There's also uh, tr tremendous uh, scientific, engineering, physics, mathematical knowledge. The ability to stay calm in very pressurized situations. Um, it, it takes a, it takes a well-rounded guy. I was a little boy in Alabama. I remember laying on the grass on those summer nights and looking at the moon to see if I could see somebody up there. Did you ever do that when you guys were? You bet, yeah. Sure. I had binoculars during Telescopes. Apollo, Apollo 11, trying to see shadows. Mm. Or maybe I thought maybe I could see a black dot go across the face of the moon. That'd be the command model. Saw a shooting star, but you thought it was an astronaut mm. passing by or something. I remember seeing satellites, though. Mm -hmm. You could see satellites go across the sky, and that was a big treat. Well, what has happened to us? I mean, why don't we have that enthusiasm toward exploring new things and that wonder like we used to have? It's really weird to be in a movie about going to the moon that's a period film. This is set 25 years ago, and it just seems strange. It seems like we should be going to Mars and all these other places. We should still be exploring. And we are, but uh, the Congress, everybody's fighting to keep the space program alive right now. And I just hope that they yeah, can. Yeah, it's just so amazing because it was so, so much a major part of our lives. I think when the American up, people sure could was. dictate that to the government if we really expressed a strong interest to give our children, you know, something to look look to the future for. And this movie is inspirational, isn't it? I mean, as much as it is entertaining it is, it is. and fun and, yeah. you know, well, it's got funny, all the elements. Because what you're saying, it's inspirational. Yeah, we're talking about guys who did not make it to the moon. It's, right. ins it's inspirational because what we, we, we're showing what is potential uh, of, uh, of, uh, of humankind. We're showing that it is possible not only to go to the moon, but bring guys back when it seems as though that's an impossibility. Uh, I, I think that's a cool thing. But true nobility only comes out of incredibly adverse situations, and that's what this was all about. These guys got way out there, and they weren't going to make it back. And uh, the world When you guys read together. this story, I mean, we all know the story, but it doesn't matter as you watch the movie because you're still wondering what's going to happen. I mean, Ron Howard really is a magician, isn't he, about he making things come together. Incredible. He did an incredible job. I think he did an incredible job at, at keeping the movie uh, real and smart close to the true story and also making so that people who do not, nothing about the space program have no understanding of physics at all can watch it and understand what the heck's happening. You know, I think that was a really fine line to walk. We would love he, him. Y'all love him. He's a dream. <laughs> would any of you really have liked, now that you've gone through the training and a little bit more than most people have, think you could have been an astronaut? Would you have liked to have been in knowing what all you got to do? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but sure, I would love to be an astronaut. Uh, physics and engineering would be a little bit beyond me, but if they just needed a guy to go up there and hang around, I'd do it. <laughs> I would too. I'd, I'd <laughs> sweep out the cabin or carry the coffee or whatever. Is this kind of one of those movies that you wouldn't dare tell them this, but you would have liked to have done for free if, you, if it gave you the chance to do this? It looks like one of those kind of movies you almost pay them to have this. Yeah, get paid. <laughs> I had to kick back a bunch of money to pay for that KC-135. <laughs> Without a doubt. Because this is the stuff that when you're a little boy wanting to be an actor, you've got to want to do this. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you would a dream part, really. This was a brand of movie making that is so far removed from dressing in nice clothes and kissing a girl that, uh, you know. That uh, can be all right, too. That's not a bad gig when you can get that kind of work. This, the, the astronauts in the 60s were like being the Beatles. I mean, here in Houston, they were like, you know, the most famous people are like Absolutely. bigger than Akeem or Shaq or somebody like that. Yeah, it's funny you should say that because it's as those sports figures 
via merchandising and endorsements have become have taken the place of That's guys who actually accomplish something that, that that benefits all of humankind. Yeah. Well, it's a great movie, and I don't like to use that word too loosely, but it really is. I well, promise. Thank you. Glad thank you. you enjoy it. We enjoyed <coughs> making it. All righty, guys. Go. Thank Beautiful. You. I really do. I really like this one a lot. I like Batman too. Though.